Hey guys, neat little shop tip. If you're working on a big thing, getting a lot of grease and oil all over the floor, a great way to clean up oil spills, and it's really simple and cheap. You don't need to spend a lot of money on the expensive oil dry stuff. Plain old kitty litter. Works great. Agapulgate. Very simple, cheap. You just dump the kitty litter right on it, and you can reuse the kitty litter several times, and just kick it around, and it cleans up your oil spills. So, if you're taking apart a forklift of your own, kitty litter. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today is day four of the equipment autopsy for the forklift project. And it's our final day. Yep. Because you're, Absolute you're final. back to Brussels tomorrow. You're yeah. on a plane. Too bad. Yeah, it sucks. We like having you around. Have you been having fun? Are you digging this? Yeah. yeah, I like being around, so yeah. Well, we're, you're a good guy to have here. You can come back anytime you want. Well, I'm coming back I'm okay next with year. That. Okay. So today, we've got to get the last of the umbilicals out, which are mm -hmm. the, the big main power feeds from the back of the unit to the front of the unit. we got to get those out. And we're going to see what, what progress we can get on the motors and uh, see if we might be able to get some of those out. Yep. So that's, that's the project. Now, the motors we'll probably come back to in a subsequent autopsy. Um, months from now because we're just going to get them out today but yep. I want to get into the gearboxes and that later on and that pretty okay. much takes us down to just the frame and we're not going to take the frame apart because it's just metal and who cares so today it's all about getting this stuff apart all right let's get to work yep um, start on let's see if we can get the motors out of there you start on those I'm going to get the umbilical stuff out well first this oh yeah down. this let's let's show this this is the big manifold yep. Um, go ahead. We'll bring this out front. Give people a chance to zoom in on that. All right, this is the main hydraulic manifold. This controls all the valves that do the, the fork movements for up and down and mast in and out and then for the side shift left and right. And it's just, it's three valves in here. There's some micro switches. These tell the pump when to turn on and they're actuated by this moving up or down. Yep. So, and, and that was uh, connected to the levers. Yeah, these went up to the, the, the levers, the, the, the right-hand levers. Okay. So that's that, and that's scrap. That's, we're, we're not going to reuse that. That took a chunk out of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, so we've got all the umbilical cables here. I'm going to get that out of the way. And those should be loose. Yep. So we're going to toss these aside, because we're going to keep those. For these AV. are all headed off for the EV project. These are great. Big, heavy gauge, copper. There's a lot of them. These alone made all this work worthwhile. All these are going to get upcycled. It's kind of cool. They started life in a little forklift. We're going to clean them up, inspect them for damage, make sure all the insulation's intact, and they get to get reincarnated as power feeds in a supercar which is like every forklift stream. So. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, so now things are immediately looking world's better. Um, we'll get this out of this, the way. This is I'm junk. Just, I'm just going to cut that right out. Oh, uh, yeah. That's breaking fluid and breaking. Besides, it gives us an opportunity for it. Go All right. Yeah, I'm just going to pop these I'm gonna All right. Cut it. I didn't want to cut with that. I'm going to mess up my Gerber. Those are stainless steel brake lines. Hmm. Do we have, I don't want to use the big bolt cutters on it. Ooh, we got vice grips. Great way to cut a brake line. See, I'm just going to pinch them off. Oh, okay. Work hard and I'm wiggle it till it breaks. I'm looking if I can get that filter off. Which filter? That one? 
Just yeah. unspin it. But the whole thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, those are about a 12, 14? Yeah, 12, but I can get the wrench in there because of that. Oh, use a year one. Uh, it's smaller. It's pretty small. What, is it 14 you said? No, it's 12 and a it's 12? on the other. I got 12 on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here, watch. Have I mentioned I really love this tool? Maybe. Now see, if we have one of those cool Prevost fittings on there, this would be easier. Let me try that. Okay. Mm. Wiggle it on. You got this. And if you can't get in there that close, just put the extension on it and get it from a distance. There. Because you can't fit right in there. But if you're way out here, hmm, now that you're works. That's why I use it with the extension a lot because a lot of times, most of the places on here, you can't fit the whole wrench in there. But you can get, if you can see it and get a straight line on it, then you can just toss an extension on there. Yeah, just like that. That should get that filter out. <laughs> But there's going to be a big hose out at the bottom. Yep. And that's going to take some doing. I don't know where the other end of that hose goes. The Phillips. The Phillips. Here. Oh, thanks. Hmm. That's not under Someone attack. already there. loosened it. Will it slide off? Or you want me to hold the clamp? Oh, you got it. There you go. There's Watch out, hose. because this, this is going to hold a lot of fluid. Because the filter itself is going to be full of fluid. There you go. Cool. And, hmm. yeah. There's something there's, there's in there. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the, in the thing right away. All right, so next big step, motor mounts. Now those two are off. Now, are there only two bolts holding that motor down, or are there two on the back, too? There's two in the back. There's two in the back, that's what I thought. So we're going to have fun trying to get that out of there. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think the whole front thing comes out as an assembly. Yeah. And it's taken that out. That is connected to that, which yeah, is connected to both motors. Yeah, I think we take out motors. these bolts. But the minute we do that, we lose the frame. Yeah, the frame right is the frame. worth nothing without well, the wheels. No, my, my concern is the frame is very heavy. And if we take these out, we'd have to, this is really heavy, and this is really heavy. And if we take these bolts out, it's going to fall. Yeah, so if we, we take that out, we have to support that with the other forklift, lift it up a bit, and just roll that out. Yep. But with the forklift in a way, I'm not going to be able to get that out. Mm. So it's it's tricky. Um, all right, let's see what we have for sockets that'll fit these. No, it's going to be mm. big. It's going to be like a 22. I was working on that one. Oh, that, why take that out? Right, it's a hose and it's in the way, yeah. so why not? It's like five seconds of work. I got a 21. It's going to be bigger than that. It's a lot yeah. bigger than that. 27. It's a 27. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the air tool is going to have the stones, but we'll try it. We'll try the impact wrench and see if it can do it. <laughs> I'm just going to get a couple out. That's a fun time. Wow! What, what, what? 
<laughs> Isn't it the hot? lock washer meant it. But I got I got it to move. The lock washer came off sideways. The nut is still yeah. firmly there. The lock washer came out sideways and just fell off the bottom. That uh that was a job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, let's try it again. I think I should have brought a bigger air hammer. Such a smooth, pleasant tool to use. Um, we may have to just use a really big breaker bar. I don't, I don't think this has the stones, and I think it's going to beat the hell out of the wrench in the socket before we figure it out. Um, so I got a really big breaker bar here. That's how you break sockets. Okay, grab the breaker bar. <laughs> Come on over here. Watch my fingers. All right, slide it on. Come on up. It's moving. That nuked it. Huh? That nuked it. Nuked what? This. Would we break? And. Oh, it's all right. We turned the thing. Yeah. Let's grab another break. Ready? Come on. Come uh, on up. You're gonna have okay. to lift, rotate a bit. Lift, lift, lift from there. It's going. Oh. All right. Watch out. Go ahead. Okay. All the way down. Come up easy. There you go. Grab a bite. The other side's turning now. We broke it free though. Let me. Uh, yeah. Try the air hammer on the uh, impact wrench. Got that one loose. All right, hmm. here. Put the third one on. And just pop it, break it loose. To get the initial movement, I can do the rest of the impact wrench. Move. One more, just to be sure. Yeah, you got it moving. All right, do the other three. Or four. Uh, that one's loose, no? No, no, none of them are. I tried, didn't get anywhere. No, once you get to move, then the, the impact wrench should be able to get the rest. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. I got faith, man. I believe in a little impact wrench it could. If you say so. Socket. Now let's see what we can get with this. Ooh. 
That one I didn't break free. You didn't get that no. one? No. It's off. It's free, it's off. There's the hardest nut we've had to get off this time. All right, let's try this side and see what we get. Have you been all the way in here? Did you get all four? No. Okay, you didn't get the back ones? No, I don't think so. All right. I'm not getting anything on these. Mm. The other side, they went. This side, not so much. Hmm. Alright, break that back one out. And then we'll uh, pick it up with the forklift and see what we can get. So which one? The back one here. You, you, you did, oh, you no, didn't it's get all out. off, isn't it? All right. Um, oh, I'll get the forklift. I am a forklift ballerina. It's jank, but it's in the air. And I think we can reasonably trust it. Just don't get your foot under there. Yeah, I wouldn't get any body parts under that. That one's loose too, but th this one isn't. This one isn't? Not right. as much. Put the... But the tool should do it. Yeah, put the, the tool on. Air tool. Uh, where's the... 27. Where did you put it? thing. Let's see if I can back that up this time. Okay, so there's nothing holding that side on. These, we still got some issues. Can you get that on there? I don't know. Here, try it. Just fits. Don't bounce it. Slow and smooth. It's not doing anything. I'm hitting no. the ground here. Yeah, we can't move it enough. All right. Uh, the um, forks are kind of in the way. Yeah. Might need to pull them out and Take break them free. Up. Come up here. I can see it from here. Look behind you, you're not going to be able to slide out unless you kick it off to an angle. There you go. There it goes. All right. 
you drive. Get that on down there. Yeah. It's gonna slide out, so grab it. Will that work? Uh, no. No? Wait, just a sec. It's worth a shot. Try, a try the other way. Right. Uh, that way. No, and the other bolts in the way. Uh, turn it. Off to such a good start, and just, man. I am not going to grind those. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to grind those. Um, I'm going to pop those out. Give me a skinny thing. The extension or something. Yeah, that'll work. And then they hit the wheel. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. I hadn't thought of taking the wheels off. that idea. Cool. Huh? Cool. It's, it's an idea. Not necessarily a good one, but it is an idea. Huh? 22. Too small. It's going to be 23. I don't think we have a 23. 22. I think we're locked down. I think that's it. And it's as far as we can get without some revolutionary tool mojo that we do not possess. We, we could can't get the motors use up. this and spend two hours on it. It'd be, yeah, it's not worth the time. I'm just gonna set it aside. I think that's as far as we get. We've gotten all the way down into it. I mean, we're at the, yeah, all that's left in there is the motors and, and, the frame. and the frame. But I think that's as far as we can get. We, simply for lack of tools. We don't have sockets the right sizes. So that's it, that's, we're stuck there. Yeah. All right, guys, sorry, this is as far as we get. We're down to the motors and the frame. There's nothing else in there but the motors and the frame, and we do not have or have access to the right tools to get this apart beyond this point. It's, it's simply a lack of tools. I want to thank you guys for watching the whole series. This, this has been a lot of fun to make. We've been on this all week shooting this, and we need your help. Donate tools. We're doing a tool drive right now, and we want your old tools. Everybody out there who likes to spin a wrench has old hand tools laying around. And it's simply for basic lack of simple hand tools that we can't finish this from where we are. We got a lot of tools. We got a lot of stuff. But we don't have enough. We're, we're not quite there yet. So we need your support. Go to thegeekgroup.org and make a donation of your old tools. Or just send an email to info at thegeekgroup.org. And we're happy to answer any questions. We need everything all the way from little tiny basic little breaker bars up to great big giant old milling machines and everything in between. It's your support that makes this possible. It's through the support of all the viewers that we've been able to build the largest hacker space on earth and it's just going to get better. So until next time, I want to thank you for watching. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Olivia for your We'll see you guys next time. Have fun. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you.
please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.